In this video, I'm going to show how you, yes, you, can make 400k per year as a cloud security engineer and how anyone can really do it. All right, then moving on to phase number zero, which is understanding our game plan of a cloud security engineer. A cloud security engineer is responsible for protecting data, applications, platforms, infrastructure in the cloud environments. Now, cloud security is one of the newest domains to information security. Thus, it's really in need of security professionals now. And we don't want to forget that high demand, when something like a job is high demand and it has low to mid supply, that means you can put more dollars in your pocket. Next, we have phase one, which is education and skills. Looking at the education, what you can do here is you can get degrees in computer science, information technology, or related fields, and or you can do alternative paths like coding boot camps or self-study. Then once you get the education, you have to have the skills. So you're going to need knowledge of cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, GCP, cybersecurity principles, networking, and scripting languages. Now, some recommended resources for learning these skills will be online courses. So you could have practice, like practice projects there. You could get certifications or you can read books. One good hack that I wanted to share with you guys here, and this goes for any job, is that you can book a meeting, maybe through like LinkedIn or your network on Facebook or something. Book a meeting with a successful cloud security engineer and learn all of the steps that they took so you can do the same thing to fast track your journey. Then moving on to phase two, which are certifications and training. So the certs that I've looked up that you're going to need are the CISSP and the CCSP. Now, some really good ones to have as well would be the CCSK, the CCSP, the GCLD, and the GCSA. Now, what you're going to want to do after you get some certifications is continue to take ongoing trainings wherever you can, because in this field, everything is going to be changing all of the time. You might be wondering, where would I find all these? You would just need to look up the certification, Google it, find out where you can take it, study for it, and then pass it. On to phase three, which is gaining experience. The first thing you're going to want to get a hold of is really dialing in your application assets. So first, you have to understand the job seeking process. Things like how to pass the resume robots, which is ATS, how to get in front of hiring managers, what questions to ask them. And you can do all this by clicking the link in the comments below, because I teach how to do all of this in 14 days or less. Next, you're gonna have, or you're gonna need a solid resume and a video cover letter put together to submit to these actual places. Again, there's a link within the 14 day program and it has a resume and cover letter template. Now I starred this one here. It's a common thread you're gonna hear. You need projects, projects, projects. You need to build a portfolio. Why do I say this? Every security engineer is gonna give you this same exact feedback. Now, if you don't believe me, here's a quote from a security engineer off of Reddit. He said, security engineer here. What got me hired out of college, apart from my internships, were my projects. I was asked about them in every interview I had. I included some brief write-ups about my home lab, which if you're unaware, a home lab is a cybersecurity home lab, is a small scale virtualized environment that simulates a business network's components. So I included some brief write-ups about that, generally being active with capture the flag, CTFs, which CTFs are exercises in which participants attempt to find text strings called flags, which are secretly hidden in purposeful, vulnerable programs or websites. So he wrote about his home labs, active with capture flags, and then he had a link to his GitHub, which had some code he wrote for classes. It also included more in-depth write-ups about capture the flags in my home lab and some basic malware analysis on known samples. The reason he's saying things like that are so important is that it demonstrates genuine interest and drive in your field. You can teach anybody how to write Splunk queries or do incident responses or perform a vulnerability assessment. What you can't teach someone is to be passionate and have a good work ethic. And when those things are present in someone and it, make, it really makes them that much better of a prospective employee, even if they have less technical knowledge than other candidates. And I could not agree more from my perspective. Along with all this knowledge for phase three, 
you're really going to want to focus in on internships and junior roles. These are going to be your best friends. What's going to help you get those is networking. Where can you network? What's the most important places? Show up places, go to conferences, go to events. Those are number one. Second best is LinkedIn. But don't just message people. It's not networking. Show your face. Meet up with them one-on-one -on -one for a coffee or a lunch. Or if they can't and they're far away, have a video chat to network. On to phase four, which is to get promoted and or find a new ship. So first, let's say you got your internship, then you'd be targeting a junior role. This is a promotion. Then you need to think, okay, what certifications, trainings, and or projects do I need to now level up again? Find them and do them. Then you get promoted from a junior role to a cloud security engineer. Promoted, more money. Again, ask the question, what certifications, trainings, and projects do I need to level up again? Find them and do them. You see a trend here, right? What you can do, you can focus on getting promoted within the same company and or you can then take your new role title from junior role to cloud security engineer and jump ship to a new company for more money. So for example, you might be working at a small time company in your junior role, but then your junior role, you got promoted as a cloud security engineer. If you're at a small time company, you might not get that much of a raise, right? However, you now have this title and you might hold it for a couple months. You then decide to jump ship to an Amazon, like a huge company, and you just got like a $75,000 a year bonus that you wouldn't have gotten at this smaller company. So it's definitely something to keep in mind, getting promoted and or jumping to ships. It poses the question, okay, I need to do certain things, certifications, trainings, trainings, and projects to level up. But what are these things? What you can do to find those out is just network in your current company and ask for one-on-ones. If you're a junior, have meetings with the security engineer. If you're a security engineer, book meetings with the senior cloud security engineer and pepper them with questions. Next, moving on to phase five, which is to maximize your earnings. You're no longer a beginner. So for almost every single job offer that you receive, unless you're at the actual top of their salary range or their government, you can actually ask for a 10% to 15% increase more in your offer. And if you're like, ooh, that's a lot, I'm afraid they're gonna back out of their job offer. Just say it exactly like this, like verbatim. Thanks so much for the offer, excitement. After learning about the job and seeing how my skill set fits in, I would like to propose a 10, 15, whatever increase to the starting salary. Please let me know your thoughts. I'm excited about the possibility of joining your team and talk soon. This leaves doors totally open. Next thing you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna, if you haven't done this already, jump ship to a different company that will provide you access to a remote job if you've been working in person. This is now going to allow you to do what's called salary sacking. This will let you work two remote jobs at the same exact time. And if you followed all the steps in this entire video, you should be able to get the two following remote jobs. You should be able to get job one at one company, senior cloud security engineer for 200K per year. And then at a different company that's not a direct competitor with this company, become another senior cloud security engineer for 200K per year, equaling $400,000 per year for you as a cloud security engineer. If you're interested in us doing any of these things for you, please feel free to click any of the links in the description below.